Yesterday, the House of Representatives in the Massachusetts State House passed a really important piece of legislation that helps our small businesses and people who have been unemployed during the pandemic. So what better place to share that news than here in beautiful downtown Northampton? The bill has four main components. Uh, so the first thing that we did was we are freezing experience ratings. Now I know that that might sound confusing, but businesses pay into the unemployment trust fund based on how many how much their employees use the trust fund and right now a lot of employees are using that trust fund and the trust fund in fact doesn't have very much money so the bill is putting money into the trust fund freezing the experience ratings which means that employers don't have to worry about getting hit with really really large bills going into the next year that's so important to help them keep their doors open which is something of course we all want to see the bill also helps people who are getting unemployment it makes sure that people who are making up to 200% of the federal poverty limit, so about $34,000 for an individual, doesn't have to pay taxes on that unemployment. So that's a huge tax break for people who really need a lot of help right now. The bill also changes how we are helping people who got PPP grants. So PPP was a federal program that came to our businesses and uh, a lot of those loans were converted to grants based on how the business used the loan. This is going to let businesses have another little additional tax break. So it means that our small businesses are basically going to be treated the same way in Massachusetts as the much larger corporations, which during a pandemic seems like it is really the only fair thing to do to make sure that everybody has equitable access to that. Finally, really exciting, the legislation passed emergency paid sick time. So it's one week of emergency paid sick time that employers are not gonna have to pay for, but that the government is going to pay for. So if you get sick at work and you have COVID and you need to take the time off to get better, we're gonna step in and help with that. So this is really exciting news. Emergency paid sick time is something that people have been fighting for ever since the beginning of the pandemic. And we're happy to have this finally taken care of for constituents. The weather is finally beautiful, which is the perfect excuse for us to share that outdoor dining is returning to Northampton. So one of the things that really helped um, restaurants in particular survive this incredible year of 2020 was the ability to have outdoor dining in parking spots downtown. And we're thrilled that that's coming back. We're aiming for April 1st if the weather holds. Other exciting news downtown is that many of our currently empty storefronts are being filled during the month of March. COVID hit and 2020 was a really challenging year. Downtown Northampton, um, between Northampton and Florence, we lost a total of 16 businesses. Um, and some of those were longtime um, businesses downtown. So Kathy Cross, Silverscape, Artisan Gallery. For many of those folks, I think um, they were coming up on a natural retirement time anyway, and COVID just made that decision a little bit easier. Fortunately, during that same time frame, we've welcomed 15 businesses, so almost an equal trade-off of businesses coming and businesses going, um, including a couple of new restaurants downtown, a couple of new retailers, um, and a couple of new cannabis shops. I am very optimistic on downtown. I love downtown Northampton, and we have such a strong group of um, incredibly resilient, creative business owners. Um, there's a a new generation of young business owners downtown who have managed to survive a pandemic while remote learning kids at home, dogs in the store, um, you know, shops transferring to online sales that have never done that before. Um, and I think that downtown right now is so positive um, and really looking forward to things gradually opening up safely and COVID friendly over the spring and summer. Um, so I'm very bullish on downtown and always will be.